Oh, you remember those two barrels of maple sap that I had here? We've reduced both these barrels down to less than half a barrel with the reverse osmosis machine. You remember our sugar content was just under two. We are now sitting in uncharted territories, probably a seven, maybe eight. And this barrel right here is all the water we removed from that maple sap. And here's a quick look at the water sugar content, which is registering zero. I've now got it running out the window because the barrel is full. Some argue that it's gonna change the flavor of the syrup, but this is how most large scale commercial operations operate. And it does not change the taste of the maple syrup at all. Cause I still end up boiling it anyways over a flame. Because this works so well, I'm actually gonna head out to the bush a little bit later today. And I'm going to go collect another 47 buckets and I'll run this all night and I will start boiling. I am pretty close to turning off the machine because there's not much water coming out, but there's still quite a bit flowing out if you really think about it. How long would it take to evaporate that if you were to boil it? So you can see why these things are such huge time savers.